And so there are a number of challenges in measuring the quality of care in cardiovascular disease and in other areas of medicine as well. When you think about process measures, those things like providing aspirin to patients with heart attack or ACE inhibitors to patients with heart failure, those are all very important processes of care on the one hand, and on the other hand, they really measure only a very small component of the care we're delivering to patients. Moreover, with an increase in focus on these processes of care, there's been an effect where centers, physicians, are performing at very high rates, and so those measures are losing their capacity to discriminate in terms of bad and, and good care. Um, with respect to outcomes, you know, there's been a greater focus on outcomes because they're more patient-centered, because they focus on the totality of care that's delivered, they allow for systems accountability. Uh, there are a couple of challenges with outcomes measures which are ultimately incredibly important again for patients and practitioners. But those include issues around risk adjustment, making sure that the playing field is level for everyone in terms of the risk of the patients that they care for. Furthermore, uh, uh, outcomes measures don't provide specific guidance in terms of what must be improved to improve those outcomes. And as a result, that's a combination of measures, both outcomes and processes, I think are still important in trying to characterize quality and give both healthcare consumers and physicians an idea about the quality of care that's delivered, but also deliver some, provide some form of, of direction in terms of accountability and actionability. Um, and then finally, measures of value, I think, uh, to this point appear to be somewhat of, a, of an elusive target in terms of the difficulties in measuring the cost of care and, and characterizing that as a function of the quality of care that's delivered. But ultimately, that's something that needs to be done. Certainly with respect to the American College of Cardiology and the work that they've done, one of the uh, important foci in terms of value is assessing the appropriate appropriateness of cardiovascular procedures with the emergence of the appropriate use criteria, which are allowing us to characterize both underuse and overuse of cardiovascular procedures and make sure that the right patient is getting the right treatment at the right time.